let's create a loop where we'll generate four different sets of 10 random points and make four different normal probability plots. Let me store that number in uppercase n. Suppose I want to make four plots. So we'll use four. And the way we use loop is we start with four in parenthesis, i in one colon n. And then we have to say what we want to do. So that's where we can type codes. We have to put them in this uh, curly brackets. I will copy this and paste it here. And just to look better, I will hit enter and put it here. So it will repeat it four times. We'll have four different plots. If I want everything on one screen, then I need to add one more line here. P-A-R, and you can see what it does. M F row equals C. We'll put them in two rows and two columns because we have four plots. This will go in loop and it will encounter this code again and again. We don't want to really do that. We can put it outside the loop. That will be correct way to, to do it. If we put inside, then every time it will reset. So we'll run this, we run this, and we run this. You can see that every time you take a random sample of size 10 from a normal distribution, the data points are going to look slightly different. In fact, they're coming from a normal distribution, so there's no reason to not to believe they are not normal. They are not going to lie exactly on the straight line. And there could be some data points, especially in the tails, which are slightly off. So we should expect that. In loop two, let me get samples repeatedly and get average from there. M. 50. So I will repeatedly take samples of size 50 and find average and store that. I will store that in AVG where I am defining AVG as a numeric value. We'll generate 50 X bars. I'm using this M to generate 50 X bars. And then we'll say that our loop is I in one colon capital M and then our curly brackets, AVG that we just now created, but then we have to say within square brackets, I. So average one, average two, average three, average four, up to average 50. And what each average will have, it will have mean of random norm, 30 samples from random normal distributions are taken. X bar is created and stored in first one and then do the same thing with second, then third, then fourth, up to 50. So we'll have 50 X bar values. Run this, and if you want to look at what is AVG, you can run that. So you see it has 50 values. This is 49th, and this is 50th. And if you make a histogram of AVG, it is going to look like a normal distribution. So earlier we had defined this PAR to be two by two. Unless we switch it back, it is going to do the same thing. So I'm going to say one by one. So that if I run this, I get it on the full screen. What does the numeric command do again? It defines average as a something that is going to contain numeric values, not factor, not ordinal, but numeric values. Because all these that we are going to store in average is numeric. First average is mean of 30 values generated from normal distribution. So that mean comes to negative 0.11. These means are based on random normal distribution. But once you have these codes, you can try any other distribution very quickly. Like if you want T, one, two, three, four. We have to specify degrees of freedom also. Let me use five this time. So now these averages are coming from 30 values from T distribution where degrees of freedom is five. And if you make the histogram, this is how that histogram will look like. 